very similar stuff that's floating in New Zealand. It's around 250, 300 litres of water to make one litre of milk. The amount of crap coming out of these animals collects them and soaking gravity works there, we're soaking through the land into the groundwater, becoming a real issue. So what's our geography? What's our economic modeling? It doesn't look that different. Look at a Māori corporation. The only difference from a non-Māori corporation is what they decide to do with the money. They'll have scholarships for Māori. They'll have grants for old people. They don't farm anything. The idea of carving the land, carving the people, carving the people, carving the land, we can flip this idea. What are we going to train? What are we going to tell people? What am I going to tell my kids? I'm kind of scared they want to go to university and get a PhD and have a life of property and marginalisation. <laughs> <laughs> what really shocked me about this recession was that no one said, thank God, we knew it was going to crash. Here's the template for how you want a sustainable economy. And by economy, I mean, you know, satisfying all our needs and wants and designs, not just the financial stuff. So there's this idea, and I thought it would all be drifting off by now. As indigenous people, if we failed the world, have we not articulated a model? What do we do with currency exchange? What, what taxation? How do we tax? These are the questions that people are going to want to know. Not that the earth is your mother. It's your mother, no. What's in it for me? People are getting really, you know, I was talking about water. The idea of Southern California, how much are they going to pay for the wedding? or pay anything. You know, you guys are forced into it. How are you going to do all that? We all contribute to the layers of the planet. The metaphor like the North Island, you know, the fish, we're all struggling in this economy. Do we pay people to be kaitiaki? We train the shepherds and all that up to look after the land better than what this thing hasn't been even, no one's even talking about this yet, really. Dan Longboat, I don't know how many people have heard of him, there's Sean visited him a while ago and then long back through the term, re indigenizing humanity, and we just went, that's cool, we're going to. Okay, so I ran Dan long but before I come over here, I said, look, I'm going to use your kind of your term, re indigenizing humanity. He said, yeah, sure, not a problem. He actually threw in a dozen more terms that I was frankly writing down. Some people are just very good at that. Can we re establish a holistic participation of life process? No one talks about it, but hey, you know, we can establish that way of thinking. We focus the relationships. They would change these things. Like we want to support like-minded individuals. And it's got to be practical. Universities are not always relevant to the wider community. In fact, very rarely are universities relevant to the wider community, Parker, Maori, American, mm -hmm. How do you practically implement it? Now what Dan was saying, you get a whole lot of Europe. How do you tell anybody how to live, you know, until you, you know, hold up the mirror? So we've got a 30 year project at Lincoln to re-indigenize humanity. I thought we'd check the 30 year time span because, yeah, I'll be out of there by then. I can't, the failure can't possibly be pinned on me. So the first 15 years is going to be holding up the mirror, like getting ourselves into a position where we can look after our land and our people. Our cultural capital, if it doesn't do that, other capital will just frickle away. There's been some couple of hundred. Revitalizing the indigenous mind was what Dan Longboat, was the new term he gave us. And then he said, You've got to hold up the mirror. And so I'll leave you with that. This is what I'm up to in the next couple of days. This way. Artists, writers, poets, and I. They're the ones who say things in a way that connects with communities, not necessarily databases online and, and all that sort of stuff. We've got an Indigenous Food Conference 2012. Google it, we're going to have a website, we've got funding for that thing. That's what Māori are up to, just arguing and just getting stuck into stuff. But for all Indigenous people, do we have a role to fulfil here? I mean, people have romanticised us as, as a people and as a culture, as having this connection with the earth and all that. Like I said, I'm urban. I love San Francisco, I'm down Market Street, I'm at home in a place like that. I have no fear of. Um, Although the money confuses me, I gave five bucks to a guy and said a one dollar note. You know, I was handing it over, I could see the flyer, but I was too polite to put it back and get a one dollar note. Mm -hmm. My mate Edmund, he was out of there. You knew it was a mistake. You were hanging around. Mm -hmm. 
So how do we fulfill this role? I mean, if it happens, uh, that's the end. But um, just meeting and talking with people, and, and we laugh at ourselves. The one thing we say to you is, is a minority has been put upon as a sense of humor. And so we love the idea that Pākehā thinks we are environmental geniuses. And, you know, we can do karakia and prayers and things happen. <laughs> Actually, no, if it was as easy as that, then we wouldn't have lost the whole country, would we? Um, we have this challenge as indigenous people to get some skills. Education is vital. Getting the education out there for the community is vital. Getting the vision out there, well, some people will do it if you on, but if you come up with these terms and all that, what's the vision? What's our role? How do we fulfill it? More later, you all must, friends. If you're not out of cooking, you have a peer order, if you're out of the peer, looking after me today. If I buy, if you'll come back, if you're peer cooking, in my case, in my case, we will give you an opinion of the children. Any question, it might be done in the class. Then you give them this way. Question five. What percentage do you deal with in the Maori title for the Maori title? But, you know, they say from six and a half to 15%. People are trying to close these numbers down, but they haven't done it. That's a good question, though. Because Maori would not, we don't know. which is mainly in the South Island, have um, geodes units. I've got the layers, and I've got layers where they can see them. So there's always this issue, but then the area is a corporate entity, 